Hello everybody, you're watching 100 Days of Making Comics, and I think today is the 75th episode, maybe? Who knows? But uh, anyway, this is C.B. Smallwood, this is 100 Days of Making Comics, where for every day, or every single day, or every other day, or every couple of days, I'll be writing, drawing, inking, coloring, lettering, I'll be doing something to further my goals to become a comic book artist, to uh, get a good portfolio together, and... Um, Hopefully get a comic book done in the uh, process. Uh, sorry, you probably don't want to hear me uh, snort my nose boogers. So, um, all right. So, here's where I'm at today. Uh, so I skipped the uh, last page, um, so I could, um, you know, try to keep making uh, progress, keep trying to make headway. You know. Um, if I could, well, I can, but if you'll allow me, <laughs> let me show you uh, what what, uh, what what the plan is here. So, this is the the uh, plotted out pencil thing, sketched out deal. So, we have here in the top left corner, uh, Walkhead's face is exposed because... Uh, well, on multiple levels. First of all, he's he's turned around dramatically because you know this guy's threatening him. He's he's in a little bit of pain because he's had half his face blown off. And the guy who's holding the chains has opened his hand and because uh, he's a little freaked out. Here he's running away from Wildcat because he realized he's made a tactical error. Uh, middle pan panel. Uh, if done right, should look pretty epic. You know, uh, Wildcat does like a um, very over-the-top epic football tackle thing where he's uh, throwing his shoulder um, into the uh, bad guy in his torso, knocking him backward in a brutal way. And here we have in the last panel, uh, Wildcat punches him so hard, you know, underneath his chin that it actually throws his head back snapping his neck yeah it's kind of brutal i know but <laughs> anyway um I'm not sure on this next page not because uh i don't dislike the next page i don't i don't know if it's the, you know, the best way to go about it but uh the next page is a splash page uh and here we see Wildcat standing there, and the kind of look that I'm wanting to go for is he's he's just kind of, um, you know, it's over, and it's just kind of taking a moment. Uh, it's not celebrating or anything like that. He's just, you know, uh, you know, he's just, that's his kind of mindset. Uh, and there should be bodies laying around. There's one by the tree. Uh, there's one, there's one behind him, but I think it's a bit much. Uh, I, I would like the idea aesthetically for it to be over here, but I'm kind of run out of room on the page to, to show all that. So I just like, yeah, you know what? It don't matter. Um, and also we have, uh, here the, uh, the Fox, uh, bringing her back into focus where she's been missing for a couple of pages. So... Um, and, uh, let's see, uh, from there, let me grab these. Now, these, these might be even more crappier than, um, what I just showed you. I'm going to do a, shucks, I'm going to do a panel where the fox is standing here and Wildcat falls face forward because... He's been in a grave uh, backstory. I guess I'm revealing a bit of a backstory here, but it don't matter uh, because there's still plenty left to tell a lot. Uh, he's fell face forward, you know, because he's been in a grave for 10 years, you know. Um, he had this spurt of energy, and he wasn't even done healing from whatever put him in that grave in the first place. So I'm going to put this panel uh, on this page. Anyway, uh, from there, she's like, uh, 
I thought about doing um, like a first person perspective you know, because this is Wildcat's nose and you know this is his eyes and he's looking at the fox and she's tending to him and then everything goes black. Uh, there'll be some uh, narration or dialogue or you'll hear a uh, uh, I'm sorry, that girl talking and stuff. Uh, here, on this wacky doodle thing, <laughs> uh, I was trying to figure out how to do the, 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 the body language because she's supposed to be pulling on Wildcat now. She's pulling his arm. I was having trouble with it. And, uh, uh, you know, this was sketched out in ink pen. Uh, I, I really love sketching stuff out on ink pens because it gives such a definitive look instantly, you know. Uh, it, uh, it pops instantly. That's what I love working with ink pens. But since I've been doing the 100 Days of Making Comics, you know, increasingly I'm I'm working with pencil a lot, so I've gotten a habit of doing that here lately. So, um, so a lot of the, you know, pages you're seeing now is done in pencil. But these were done in ink because I did these actually at work. <laughs> oh boy um, so anyway uh, she's trying to uh, move him uh, she's thinking about it she gets a bright idea um, there she's back in the truck up and then uh there's another panel where she's getting something out of the back of the truck. You see a chain. She's hooking a chain up. She's tying around his leg. She's wiping sweat off. She's getting in the truck. And then a big panel where she's dragging him through the forest. Um, we get a establishing shot of where they're at next. It's the next day. Daylight out. She's sleeping on a pillow, uh, which has, a, it's kind of interesting, a little bit of foreshadowing, you know, because uh, on the very first page or second page, she ended up in this pose where she fell down. Now she's falling down from exhaustion. Uh, there's Wildcat's foot on the bed. There's some guy, some guy on the couch. Uh, there she is yawning because she's waking up. Uh, and there she is. Tired, walking to her buddy on the couch, walk in the bed, and she's talking to her buddy. Um, and then here he is yawning, there she is tired, there's Wildcat's feet. And then here's this discussion they're having about, you know, what to do about him. And here's his face bandaged up. And, um, okay, that's, that's that. And, uh, wait, there's more. I got more. Yeah, I hear you, son. Hang on. Okay, so, uh, a little disorganized. My apologies. Um, okay, so, now. Uh, here lately, I've been inspired by um, George Perez. I've been reading, well, uh, actually just kind of looking at not re not so much reading. Uh, Tales of the Teen Titans. You know, originally it was the Teen Titans. Well, actually, the Teen Titans have went through many different uh, incarnations. I guess that's how you say it. Over the years, over 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 the decades. Uh, but when George Perez was on the book <laughs> in the eighties, um, eventually they changed it over to calling it Tales of the Teen Titans because they were going to make a spinoff book called The New Teen Titans or Just the Teen Titans. Um, so anyway, uh, I got inspired because, you know, he does these seven, nine panel things. And when he does them, he the panels are so detailed, you don't feel like you're actually looking at a small panel. And I really like that. I like that that craftsmanship that fools the reader into thinking they're seeing something a lot bigger than what it actually is. And so that's, that's some really, that's some really good, um, uh, I don't know, craftsmanship, I guess. So anyway, I'm, uh, playing around with that idea, that concept. I'm going to see if I can try to implement that. Not so much draw George Perez like, 
Like, well, maybe. <laughs> but just capture the, the essence of, of being able to draw small stuff in a really cool way. And I was actually talking to Will Avenger about this last night. Uh, originally, I was looking at... Um, shucks. I was looking at uh, George Perez stuff because um, I like the way he draws his rubble. I like the way that he draws his machinery and all these different things. And he's got... He's got these cool little layout ideas, but then it kind of expanded it also into this area too. So uh, here's an establishing shot um, of, um, I guess, Manchester and uh, not Manchester, England, uh, Manchester, Kentucky. And for those that don't know, uh, Manchester is an extremely popular name. Uh, like a lot of towns for whatever reason in the United States they uh, like the idea of naming their cities Manchester because they felt Manchester was a successful city in England you know they wanted they they wanted to be very they wanted their cities to be industrial and and lots of jobs and progress and stuff so that's the name they went with for their cities and so this is a U.S. city named Manchester. So uh, here we get an interior shot of an office, which would be probably this building right here. A secretary and stuff like that. And then, oh, look here. It's the guy, uh, one of the guys that actually got away from the Wildcat beatdown. He's aggravated, a little flustered. Passing up the secretary as he walks into the office. He's beating on the door of a back office here you see in the foreground there's a guy smoking there's the door being beat on there's the um i'll get you in a second yeah there's the uh bad guy well we'll see uh and then there's there's lackey coming in talking to him and um Last I got, I might not even use this panel, um, was there's the foreground shot of the back of the head of the uh, bad guy talking to this dude in shadow. And that's as, uh, as far as I made it, you know, so far. Um, but anyway, I was actually going to draw this video uh, and, <laughs> you know, show you all. Uh, well, not show you anything, just show me drawing. But um, kind of ran out of time. I could make this 30 minute video, but I'm trying to like condense things down. I think I got plenty in this video though. Uh, basically, if I implement these new pages, get, just give me a shot. We'll end this at 15 minutes. But um, if I implement all the new pages, we're looking at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, so six plus thirteen. What is that? Okay, so if I'm able to draw all these pages that I sketched out, and assuming my math is accurate and I'm not the best guy for it, I'll have nineteen pages pretty much plotted out, almost drawed, that type of thing. So that leaves me with um That leaves me with five more pages to uh, to tie up some loose ends. You know, uh, I want a um, maybe not so much a twist at the end, but a sort of like a cliffhanger, but not. It's a uh, you know, it's like hey, you know, there's something getting ready to go down, and you better tune in the next issue to see it. You know, and um, also I want a couple of pages at you know maybe at the farmhouse a little bit more uh, talking about. Uh, you know what's going on there uh, so there you go that's uh, that's where I'm at all right well got 30 seconds away from the 15 minute mark so we're going to end this video Cooper demands it you demand it so let's get it rolling uh, if you really like this video and appreciate where it's going uh, you know please uh, give me a thumbs up good uh, upvote a like uh, more of those bad boys I get, the more it encourages me to do more videos. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please remember to subscribe and follow so that way you get uh, keep 
kept up to date. Ah, kept up to date <laughs> to all the new stuff that I got coming out with. Um, and as always, I really appreciate all the love and support. And this is CB Smallwood, and you've been watching 100 Days of Making Comics, and I gotta go get this baby a bottle. See you guys in the next video.